everybody and welcome back to the Cognac Files. Oh, I'm just sitting in here listening to that fire crackle behind me. It's uh, such a nice environment. You can almost smell this environment. They've done this room so well. Can't you? The uh, aging on the timber, the old globes, the chandelier, the uh, some of these old pictures. Some of them I can't work out why they put on there. Why, like, why put that on there? But uh, absolutely, absolutely amazing. Ah, anyway, it relaxes me. It relaxes me. There's our lonesome uh, legendary item there. So what I thought today that we would do today is um, we would uh, we need to head back to Gettysburg, and uh, we've got some stuff to do in Gettysburg. So if we have a look at uh, if we have a look at our jobs here um let's see find a lead musket good condition in the gettysburg area find the um i think that was all of the um gettysburg stuff to do however we didn't go too far in gettysburg we we, we just did the, the very first tutorial bit i mean we were lucky enough to find a legendary item um uh, and the bavarian lake um, then there was there's sort of no point in us going back there because we've given it a scour with the detector that we have which is the lowest level detector we need to get up to uh, prestige level two before we can uh, even consider purchasing one that does medium which is just here or uh, I, I think uh, in this one is prestige three so we really need to get into this one and then we can sort of head back into the lake area and uh, check that out to find some more stuff so what we will do is we will go back over to Gettysburg and we will travel out here and uh, see what we can find we, let's see if we can convert our treasure hunter career from a uh, one dollar store operator to something a little bit more significant and I'm just going to have a sip of my coffee here I didn't have cognac this morning I thought I'd better come out here uh, nice and straight for this one so there's quite a bit uh, there's quite a bit here uh, quite a bit of area here um, we have done uh, through here and we sort of went around here but we re haven't really done too much around here so I thought we would start by uh, ducking over there walking forwards would be better and uh, let's just see what we can find with this uh, cheap little detector that we've got. Uh, we are looking for a good condition musket ball. So I am guessing that there is going to be one here. There we go. We've got something there. Uh, it's over there, I think. This way. There we go, up this way. around here somewhere we will find it. aha right there beautiful all right let's see what we can find let's see what we can find we need to bring our finances up a little bit bring our prestige up a little bit and we're not going to do that with a nail surely treasure hunter extraordinaire all right lovely let's continue on you know, you need to take the good with the bad in this game. Um, it's, uh, you know, there's a lot to do. There's a lot to do. There'll be a lot to find. All we need to do is uh, is slowly work towards our goals. And our first goal, as I said, is uh, quite simply, let's uh, upgrade our detector so that we can actually um, start detecting stuff a little bit uh deeper or a little bit better than what we've got uh, let's see over this way I'm getting pretty good at this metal detecting thing here all right we're, we are we are in the spot there we go right there yeah I still uh, still definitely enjoying this game and looking forward to getting thanks to those people who uh who are continually asking me to um oh what have we got here to post um uh, to post more of these um <laughs> yeah i i am I'm, I'm trying to sort of divide everything that i'm posting uh, i'm trying to divide it all up a little bit so 
Uh, but I appreciate your enthusiasm on the series. So there we go. There's a little button for us, eh? Let's uh, have a wander around here. Need to keep sort of sweeping these areas and not um, not lose track of where we are. Because it would be easy to do, although we can... There we go. We can look down. We can look at our... Um, at our map and actually see where we have been but only in this session though all right we're getting close we're getting close all right over this way all right it's around here somewhere all right there that one took a little bit of finding didn't it all right Open, open, uh, what have we got here, it looks like it's another, uh, yeah it is, ah, more junk, more junk, okay, we will take that, we will take anything we can get our hands on at this point in time, so yeah, we can, uh, we can always look at our map here, and uh, see where we've actually been. So it would probably be worthwhile to travel through this little bit before we go too much further. I'm not sure exactly what the radius is in regards to um, in regards to what we actually uh, <coughs> excuse me in regards to uh, how wide an area that it does detect before we start getting that signal that there's something around so uh, we shall continue on over here I want to sort of do a little bit of a zigzaggy kind of pattern backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards I think we did do over near these cannons um, in the very first episode actually A little bit of an area back here as well so there we go so I hope everybody is well ah those sounds those sounds are just absolutely awesome ah, here we go we've got something here I've got a good feeling about this one this one is going to be it's going to be something worth 15 bucks I reckon back this way do a sweep left and right there we go right there yep this is going to be something worth 15 bucks isn't it I'm sure of it or oh it's going to be a key that mightn't be worth 15 bucks but uh it might be worth something. I think we did. We uncover a key here, or was it in? Uh, was it in the? Uh, was it in the Bavarian Lake district, district that we uncovered a key? Uh, let's see. All right, come on. You can identify it. There we go. Uh, five bucks. So, uh, iron dates back to the nineteenth century. Pin wards and bits used for. A padlock or a lock in a drawer or small cabinet i think at one stage in our life we've all had a uh, a wardrobe that has a key like that in it so um that's all right five bucks is five bucks guys if we keep going at that we might be able to uh, open a five dollar store oh, oh 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 straight away It's definitely over this way. Aha! I found you. It's going to be interesting to see exactly what... Um, oh, what's this one? Ooh, a pendant. Uh, old necklace. Let's identify it. Put a little bit of uh, super special goop on it. I can't see any markings. Has that got a? Is that a faint picture in there? It kind of looks like it is, doesn't it? 
There's nothing there. Uh, this old necklace dates back to the 18th century Europe. Given the personal nature of the item, it is likely an old family heirloom lost by a soldier during a war, as odds of just losing or misplacing jewellery like this are rather low. Given the past conflicts in this area and amount of European soldiers who fought here makes it the most likely scenario. 25 buckaroonies. All right. We are moving up in the world. We are moving up in the world. Let's uh, head over this way. You know, I guess it's it some sort of zigzag pattern or uh, possibly even a... Um, uh, a, a circular pattern working from the outside all the way around and coming back in again might be a thing. So we've got nothing we're detecting here yet. A whole pile of uh, very heavy cannonballs. I mean, imagine fighting back then and getting hit by one of those cannonballs. <sighs> oh, it's terrible. Terrible thought. All right, let's uh, see what else we can find over here. I do actually quite enjoy just wandering around here and enjoying the scenery, enjoying the sounds that they put on here, which are absolutely brilliant. Uh, it might have been these cannons. It was over there, wasn't it, that we found the uh, that we found the musket. So uh, that might be a good area to look for one of these uh, one of these good condition balls. So. Uh, just keep all of this up. We should really walk around these as well. Just in case, you never know. There we go. Back over here. Listen to those animals and the birds and all that type of stuff. Amazing. All the old cannons up there. Oh, here we go. Uh, let's see, yeah, possibly around this way. Nope, definitely around this way. Uh, over this way. Alright, we are in the spot right here. Oh, come on, come on, give it to me. There you go. Alright, I wonder what this one's going to be. It's another nail. Now, it's a it's a short nail. It's uh, something that I would over here call a clout. All right, uh, not not completely dissatisfied with that, to be honest. Um, you know, I think it's part and parcel, isn't it, of what we're doing? So, aha, oh, 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 oh. oh, nice. There actually is a lot of stuff in here. I mean, we're only in here for a very very short period. Got you. So is anybody else playing this game or are you just... Aha! This might be what we're looking for. It doesn't look in fantastic condition though. It's definitely not in... Oh, it might be. It doesn't have any... It doesn't have any chips or anything like that in it. So... All right. Let's see if we can identify this. This might actually... Um, Yes, it is in good condition. This ball is a projectile used in muskets. Given the size of the ball, it could be either from the early muskets or even an abacus. So we have read that before. That is what we were looking at to um, complete that... Uh, there we go, that quest. Which was a lead musket ball. Alright, that is excellent stuff. That is absolutely excellent. Excellent stuff. We've got one more here somewhere. Uh, let's see. Seems that it's over this way. Uh, there. Yep. Uh, up this way. Just a little bit more. Aha. Aha. Got you. All right. That's good. That's excellent. What's uh, What's this one? See, when you actually... Oh, look, it's a bracket. It's a bracket. It's a $1 bracket. 
Excellent. This is um, uh, it's 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 actually pretty cool. When we so we've we've actually got a couple of really good things this time, as well as completed a challenge. So, um, that's not too bad at all. I think our prestige level is going to go up. Let's have a look at the map now. Uh, we are currently we are currently sitting over here. So we need to go when we come back. Uh, we need to. Con I think what we might do is just quickly continue on through here. Um, just have a squiz around with what we've got with this um, with this current detector because I've because I've got a feeling that we are now going to um, be lucky enough to be able to get our new detector. So uh, let's see. I was going to, as I said, keep these episodes relatively short, but uh, I think while we're here, we might as well just uh, finish scouring this and uh, before we go back and get our new detector. So we've got another clout there. Excellent, excellent. Rusty junk. All right, uh, move across this way. See what we can find. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. If we get rid of all the junk now, then the next time that we come back here, we will uh, we'll have a better chance of hopefully finding better stuff. So, there we go. Alright, diggy diggy. Bottle cap. A bottle cap worth an absolute fortune in Fallout, but uh, of no real use to us in this. This way, yep, alright. Aha, there we go, we found, see, we found that easy, I'm a, I am a professional, and no, I do know how to say professional. Uh, what have we got here? A bent nail. Alright, at least we're doing, uh, we're doing something for the environment anyway. And quite honestly, you've got to feel good about that. You've got to feel good about doing things for the environment. Uh, let's see. Over this way, up here, it's around here somewhere. Right there. Aha. Uh -huh. So who's gone out and bought themselves a, uh, a metal detector after, after playing this game? Oh, is this a ring pull? Yes, we we can add that to our ring pull collection. That's awesome. All right, what else have we got? We are nearly done, I reckon. Maybe in here might be a good spot. Nope, nothing in there. What about over where these cannons are? Uh, nothing in here yet. It's a shame you can't read those. Because it would actually be nice to read even a little bit more of the history of Gettysburg. I mean, I, d I do know a little bit about it, but, but not uh, certainly not enough that, uh, that I wouldn't find it very interesting being able to read that stuff. So, And these clues that they were talking about, I'm not sure about those and how they work and how you actually find those clues. So... Um, uh, the clues that actually lead you to these legendary uh, items. Let's see. All right, there you go. So I think we've uh, we've done a relatively good job of scouring. As I said, I'm not sure, you know, like whether if we walk down through the center here where we haven't walked. Uh, I'm not sure exactly of the radius of these things here. Um, but uh, and and there's this big area here that we haven't done either. But uh, for now, for now, let's uh, close that off and uh, let's head back to the uh, let's head back to the office. Uh, yes, we wanted to return to the office. Uh, imagine, imagine having an office like this. It's always been my dream to have a massive library like this. Just something that's just. The walls are just absolutely and utterly full of books. All right, 
right, let's have a look there. Prestige increased. Thanks to all the findings, your prestige level has increased. We are at level two, which is absolutely awesome. Okay, so what we've got now is uh, this one here, uh, object size small, shallow. Now we can go to ob object size small, medium, uh, medium size, shallow. Um, I think it's probably worth doing that rather than, I don't think we're going to get too far um, prestige wise if we continue on with this basic one. So I think we might buy a Frankie Z. <laughs> That's pretty cool though, isn't it? Frankie Z. It'd be nice to be able to purchase something like that, but uh, we will get there. We will get there. Let's buy that one there and equip it. Okay, you just equipped a new detector. Please make sure you pick the right one to take with you. You won't be able to change it during your adventure. Okay, so before you go out, you can come in here and you can actually detect, uh, actually equip these. So, and and it looks like that's dependent on um, dependent on what um, what you're actually going out there for, what your mission is. So, let's sell him off. Let's sell him off. Uh, let's sell that destroyed iron key off. And we were sitting on 191. Um, we still only have these two areas to uh, to attend to at the moment. But uh, we have 36% complete in um, Bavarian Lake. And we have 60% complete in, uh, in Gettysburg. So we'll probably head back to Gettysburg next uh next episode or i might change it up and head to the uh, bavarian lake i'm not sure but uh for now uh from the uh cognac laden uh fire in my amazing amazing office here i will see you next time on treasure hunter thank you for watching hit like if you like this one and uh subscribe if you haven't subscribed because uh, i would love to have you on board i will see you next time thanks guys